A milestone on Wall Street. Today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closed above 20,000 points for the first time ever. It's a sign that investors are optimistic over the potential for the U.S. economy to grow under President Trump, who could roll back regulations and implement pro-business policies. And now that Mr. Trump is President Trump and in the Oval Office, in the first few days of his presidency, he's been talking pro-growth which is what a lot of people wanted to hear and which is what the market likes to hear. The Dow has now more than tripled from its low point during the recession seven years ago. While the 20,000 number shows how much the economy has changed over the years, financial analyst Mark Hebert says it's still just a number. I remember way back when, when the Dow hit 10,000, and they passed hats out then too, and it actually went above 10, under 10, above 10, under 10, numerous times before it ultimately broke out and brought us to today at 20,000. The momentum is clearly positive, but Hebert says the stock market can always be a roller coaster. Especially when people realize that it's going to take time for these pro-growth strategies to come into play. The market is not a patient market. And Hebert has some advice for those with retirement funds and investments. I think if you haven't rebalanced your portfolio in a long time and taken some gains out of the portfolio, now might be a good time to do that. And don't forget, over the long term, it's that ongoing investing that really pays off. Under former President Obama's eight-year term, the Dow rose more than 12,000 points. Since President Trump's victory in November, it's up more than 1,700 points. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.